So my take on this bill is that what it does is essentially gives an employer um, a course of action to take to dispute uh, the results of a discrimination case and gives them a mechanism to explain why they should not be um, uh, forced to pay compensatory and punitive damages. My concern about this bill is the title. Um, the title says an act ensuring fair and equal pay for equal work, which I don't think has anything to do with the subject matter. And it's something that stands out to me because over the last several years, there seems to be more and more bills that come before our uh, legislature that have these type of titles. And I'm sad to say that I think there's a lot of people that feel uncomfortable uh, voting yay or nay on legislation uh, simply because of the title. And if the title was something that was more descriptive of what was actually happening in the bill or a little less politically motivated, um, you might have a more accurate vote count. Um, this title has nothing to do with this bill. Um, it does not ensure fair and equal pay for equal work in any way. And um, we've already spoken on this subject, and I uh, am tempted to make uh, a motion or an amendment to, to change the title since I understand that that's something that happens during the committee process. Um, not going to do that, obviously, but I just want to bring it to the committee's attention that this kind of thing really needs to be looked at. Um, Regardless of what party is in charge at any given time, I don't think we want to be um, passing laws or forcing people to vote uh, in a way that their vote is going to be determined largely based on the fallout from a particular title of a bill. Um, I find it offensive personally and uh, from someone who has voted nay on bills that have similar titles uh, because I felt they were bad legislation and I thought the title was uh, misleading to the public. Um, when campaign season rolls around, it's, you know, Representative Sampson or Senator Sampson did X, Y, and Z. He doesn't like women or he doesn't like this or that. And that's um, nonsense. Uh, it's far from the truth. And this is exactly the kind of thing that... Um, uh, brings that uh, to the forefront and we should make every effort to make sure that we leave the politics outside this billing billing building excuse me and uh, Concentrate on public policy in here. Um, I long for that day when we can Stick only to whether things are good public policy or not and not politics until it's election season outside of this building um, I'm gonna vote no on the bill because I think while it does create this course of action for employers I think it also creates a burden in that it's asking them to provide for this um, equal pay analysis, which I suspect could be an expensive thing. And I also don't believe that the state has any right to dictate to uh, employers um, how they compensate their employees if there is no uh, legitimate discrimination going on. Um, and I will just uh, make another note that um, I hope that if this bill makes it out of the committee today and that it ultimately ends up in the state Senate, that LCO or someone takes a look at this title and makes a more apt description. I would appreciate that very much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Representative Godfrey. Thank you, Mr.